genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen, but you wield it like a, a kid that's found his dad's gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Evolution Simulator. So our goal here is to create the most fantastical, the most amazing, and the most successful creatures to accomplish certain tasks. We've got running, jumping, obstacle jump, and climbing. But you may ask yourselves, well, Baron, how does one make an, a creature, and what is this test that we're doing? By the way, I know, I agree. Let's try to do a dinosaur. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is put down joints. And you know what? I'm thinking this is good. We're gonna start with one of the, the best shapes and one of the strongest shapes in the history of shapes. And that, my friends, is a triangle. So what I'm, what I'm attempting to do right here is to make some legs, right? So you gotta, you gotta use your imagination. Because before we're gonna make dinosaurs, we need to make something very simple. I'm trying to go kind of amphibian-like, right? I'm imagining a little frog. Actually, this is technically the reverse of a frog. Maybe I should reverse my design. The front leg is the big one, but maybe we could just be inspired by, like, nature. Anyway, now we're gonna add muscle to it. So what I'm gonna do here... And then, can I connect there? Oh my god, I can. Can I also connect there? Ooh. Now, how does this... Will this work? Alright. So, now we're going to evolve. So, basically, <laughs> see, this is, this is what is happening. We're trying to get him to move, but you can see that he's just using the hind leg and not the forward leg, right? So, this is the best of Generation 1. We're at Generation 2. You can see that he's trying to use the hind leg, but he's actually hopping. So, this is not at all what I expected to happen, but this is, this is hilarious. So, if I were to reverse it and put muscles, I pretty much just <laughs> reversed a frog, and we're seeing the results. If a frog had reserved... Whoa! Hold on a second. Look at this. So, we're at Generation 3, and this thing is walking already. Now, it, they learned to use their forelegs as opposed to just their hind legs. Um, and actually use the forelegs as a, as their front leg, right? So, this is amazing. I love this. I love this. I can't... I'm gonna... I'm thinking, what dinosaur design could we make in order to, like... Like, could we make a Velociraptor? If we can make a Velociraptor, that'd be pretty freaking sweet. It would be very, very tough. Okay. So, we're already into Generation 7, and I think we was our first design was relatively successful, although I'm tempted to try out... So, what, what would we call this thing? Uh, a reverse frog? Uh, a, wait, a gorf. We're gonna call it a gorf, because it's frog spelled backwards, obviously. And uh, we basically did that. So, this is best of Generation 8. Uh, now, at what point do we have to do it in a certain amount of time? Show muscle contraction. Oh, see, like, one muscle's not even used. But you can see that the, the symmetry, like, the, uh, the synergy of the muscles, like, isn't that good. One's not used at all. I live near a hospital. Beer, beer, beer! Anyway, maybe they're trying to save this poor frog. Okay, expanding and contracting, that's cool. So, maybe it is working. No, I don't think it is. But, I'd say that this is not a bad design. Um, now, let's try to, like, reverse it. We're gonna drop our thing down, we're gonna flip it, we're gonna reverse it. So, we're going to put the bones connecting here. So, this will be... Can I... Oh, I guess I gotta put the joint first. Can I put the joint? Oh, I guess... Another thing you can do is... Where is it? Let's change our grids to smaller. We're gonna go to 1.2. And now you can see that I can move the- I should be able to- Hey, get out there, mate. I should be able to move my joints down a little bit differently. Alright, so is this the front leg? Do we want that there? Didn't we do a relatively simple leg? Alright, now we're going to do the hind leg of a frog. But we need the joints first. We will make ourselves a frog. So yeah. This is like, you know, it's head, it's front little arm, and then the back one. Now we need the muscles. This is going to... We're going to put a muscle here, and a muscle here, and then a muscle there. And you are going to have one muscle there. Let's see if it works. We're trying to make it run. Oh, is that what we're trying to do? I wonder if we make it jump. Oh my god. 
We're gonna show one at a time just so you can kind of see. <laughs> that one failed. All right, but <laughs> so wait a minute. Um, but in 10 seconds, we're gonna get the next one, right? So you can see the best of generation one is is kind of trying to figure it out maybe uh the joints maybe if we did more of like a human joint instead of a frog joint oh my god this poor creature look at him look at him freaking out see but this kind of happens in the first couple generations right is the muscles are figuring out which way should we look and uh <laughs> that's not the best this is actually starting to get pretty funny how these things are working all right so it's clear that this is this is an inferior design right all right, now, oh, we should have saved it. And then I'm actually gonna go back to 2.0 because that's kind of the start. And we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep the joints and muscles uh, relatively simple. Now, what if we did the frog like this? Wait, no, that's too small. All right, so now we've got the body. It's time to do the leg. Um, I'm thinking one far out and then one under it. And then we wanna have this one maybe like here. Now we're gonna add the bones. Whoa, buddy. Boop, boop. All right. You think that's... Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have a muscle here and a muscle there and then one muscle here. And you're gonna have one muscle there. Let us start the evolutionary process. We shall watch one at a time. Oh, hello. I'm learning to use me muscles and <laughs> I'm doing a little turkey wiggle right here. Is it like, are we, are we evolving animals? Oh dude, he's like, he's like, uh, like, yeah, dude, this guy's like, he's, he's like, uh, he's like the bass drummer. There he is, we got the bass drummer. All right, I think we need to try to inverse these joints. Boop, boop. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a knee and then the leg. Let's try this. Boop, boop. All right. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems to make sense. There we go. I don't know if those three muscle groups are going to be good, but let us evolve it. Oh, you can see maybe his front leg is a little too... He doesn't have another muscle. He, I'm, I would think he'd be trying to pull it, right? There we go. Wait, wait, there is progress. Eventually, this thing's going to be jumping, man. This thing's going to be moving, hopefully, at a high rate. I wish you could also speed up this. So you can see the best of generation two while we're on generation three. You always see the one, the best one from the generation before. All right, see now we see a little bit of expansion and contraction in the front legs muscles. I'm almost wondering, maybe we made the legs too much. Wait a minute. We could attempt to do a bipedal humanoid, right? We'd have to get balance correct. That would be tricky. This is slowly working. Now, do you ever get like a victory like, you have achieved victory and successfully ran as an animal. But this is a really cool concept of a game. I have never played anything like this. And as far as like evolving things and making like dinosaurs and humans and creatures and pterodactyls, I wonder, is there a flying option? You know what? I'm curious. We're at generation 12 and I don't think it's like making any marketable improvement the evolutionary sequence, so I'm thinking we try something else. However, the triangles got me thinking, what if we do, is it, let's see, one, two, three, so one, two, three right here. That's actually a big triangle. Um, we're going to attempt to make humanoid legs. So the joint would be here and here, and then like feet. Does that look, that looks normal. Now let's see, how many muscles do we have We've got like, there's got to be, oh my god, that's a big one. Now what if, can we do that? No. We could make the calf muscle here. And then like that. Oh gosh, these are going to be inverted. I think that's what we got to do. Now what if we... Alright. Let's evolve it. Whoa! Alright, we're going to show one at a time to see <laughs> he can't get his, his legs right. Alright, so in a few seconds we're going to see the next generation. Hope for uh, improvement. We're gonna see if any are- oh, look at that! Wait a minute! We had one walking! Oh, look! The foot! The foot is working! Maybe if we would've added feet to our frogs, that would've been the way to go. So, we're gonna look at the best of the generation before... He's fallen over. Balance is an issue. I think I have an idea. 
I think I have an idea to attempt to add uh, a muscle coming in from the other way. So I'm gonna add a joint over here and a joint over here. Then I'm gonna add the bones and I'm gonna connect it here. Cause I need muscles coming in from the other side. Now I think my thighs will be working appropriately. The feet, the feet seem like they were doing fine. I think this needs to be the bipedal and this needs to be the stabilization. We are going to evolve it now. Oh, he's standing up now. He's trying to figure out how to use his muscles, but he is standing up. So in a few seconds, look, I would say that I'd say that's decent. All right, are any there are a few that are standing. So through the generations, you can see that like eventually a species will either figure it out or maybe go exterminated because obviously we don't have other species in here. But we need to figure out basic locomotion before we're gonna make dinosaurs. So we're at generation 10 and I'm just seeing this universal look. This is, I don't know how many this is. I think it's like maybe 20 or 50 of them. They all just kind of lean forward and we seem to be at an impasse. So this isn't a working, it's, it's, it's not a viable animal. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. They already have species. Oh, this is their frog. <gasps> One, two, oh, they had three. Wait a minute. So let's evolve this frog and see what's going on with it. Because obviously this is this is like a good, see they have a very basic skeletal structure. We may have overcomplicated it by adding the triangle. I wonder how close we were. All right, so generation one, will this thing get to be able to run? Dude, look at generation six. It's starting to hop and it's starting to go in the same way. And you can see that its head is getting low, but I mean like this is a, literally a frog. I'm, I'm very curious to see some of the other species that they have and kind of get inspiration from them because I want to build an evolutionary dinosaur. I wonder what we'll call our dinosaur. But our Gorf was kind of cool. I should have saved the Gorf because I kind of forgot how he designed it. I could rewind like the video once it's up because I think we should, you know, save the Gorf. But look at look at the coordination and the locomotion of this thing. And um, it's got a, that huge hind leg, but you can see that it's fine to have the bones kind of like, you know, be on the same plane, would it be? Or, you know, the same level, I guess you could say. Like, there's not really an issue. There's no consequence, or rather there's no, like, uh, negative consequence to having a skeletal structure working that way. But you can see that insects are probably out because insects have their bones, I guess, in, uh, like on the outside of their body as opposed to in. And do they really have muscles? Like, I don't know how insects move like they don't have bones and muscles necessarily but maybe they do their exoskeletons are bones technically so this is the frog how many ev how many generations does it take to get this thing going let's show a bunch of them at the same time <laughs> look at all these frogs man you can see them like oh gosh when are they gonna hop on lily pads all right so we're at generation 20 and this is kind of like the best of the best right yeah uh, we're showing many they, ooh, that one's working nicely. I want to go to like generation 50 just to see the improvement. All right, so we're at generation 32. Look at this. They're all working. So the species at its whole, well, except for that guy. Don't worry about that guy. He's, he's the run to the litter. <laughs> they don't, don't know how to do this anymore. Oh my gosh, wait. So does that mean they've successfully accomplished it? Because they've... They've reached the end? Or is it that we're watching one of them and he's falling behind? Ah, I think that's what it is. But I would say that this frog, clearly, at generation 37, is, and look at this, one muscle from one bone to one bone, one bone to one bone. There are a total of five muscles and one, two, three, four, five, six bones. This, my friends, is the frogger. We've got the hailer, what? What is this? All right, I have no idea why this thing's called the hailer other than maybe it like waves at you. We've got a roo, like a kangaroo? No way. Oh my God, this thing can really get some ups, can it? I think like the bigger, the, the longer the stretch between the muscles or the bones, like the, lo the longer the muscle is maybe, the more it can jump. Look at this thing. It's using its back legs. I love how like in the early generation, some of them use the back legs. Oh man. Oh my God, there's a spider in here. Look at this spider. So once again, 
Relatively simple muscles. Wait a minute. That might be how I could build my first dinosaur. I think I've got in a spring. Ooh, let's go to jumping. What's the jumping task? So the task is jumping and the best of generation one is this. The one that's just not moving and actually staying in place. Because apparently, oh, that guy's probably going to be the best of generation two. Yep, that was him, man. So check this out. Watch, watch for the next generation. Right here, we, we'll see the best of generation 14. They're finally getting their ups, and that's pretty decent jumping, I'd say. So, the game will never tell us, like, wow, we've succeeded. So we have to determine that for ourselves. We are in control of this evolution. So, remember in Jurassic Park that they took the frog's DNA to fill in the gaps of the dinosaur? I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do here. So here is the head of the dinosaur, and this is its back. And then, can we add a tail? We're gonna have to add the joints first. Against my better judgment, I wanna see if this works. Bone. We're gonna add its tail, and look, we turned a frog, we evolved our frog into a dinosaur. Now, we're gonna need muscles here to keep this thing. Now, can I add muscles between that? Will that even work? All right, so here is our, let's see. Hmm, let's go with- I'm gonna- I'm gonna complicate the muscles. <laughs> Alright, we've added- like, is this a Velociraptor? Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is- This is gonna be interesting. We gotta skip many, many generations to see if this is even working. So something interesting I've noticed happening. Now, between generations 15 to like 30 is kind of when you can see the viability of the species, right? Now, interestingly enough, we're trying to use the tail as locomotion. But I think what is clear is these muscles don't seem to be strong enough to support the weight of the dinosaur, right? So, uh, trying to extrapolate frog DNA <laughs> into a dinosaur is not exactly working. But what we are seeing is using a tail for locomotion and momentum. Like, it, you can see it wiggling and, and trying to push since it doesn't connect to the ground. Most of the muscle contraction is happening back there. The rest of it is waiting. It is almost like waiting. So I'm wondering, what if we take off the tail? What if we take off the tail? Will that will that work? Now it's almost like a a, a, a dog. So let's see. The head is weighing it down. Can it support it? Look at that. Look at that muscle tendon. Looks like it's about to snap. And then the head of the frog dinosaur is just gonna crash into the, like, into the ground or something. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at this! It's, 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 it's trying to work, but... Yeah, adding, um, peripheral, you know, body parts, like heads and stuff, anything that's not really used for locomotion, doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to work. Now, what if we offset that? Oh! I really wish you could speed this up. Auto-simulate, auto-simulate to like generation 30. Whoa, whoa, look at what's happening. It's almost standing up. It's almost learning to stand up. Even with its head smashing on the ground. By generation 10, I feel like we're almost getting, we, did we build a camel? We, we, maybe we attempted to make a dinosaur, but it, it almost looks like a camel dog. You know, we're at generation 20 and it's not working. I wonder if we take out these muscles. I wonder if we take out this muscle and that muscle, if it helps. <laughs> He's having a hard time. This frog wants to become a worm. I don't know, man. This is not working. And I don't think heads really, really help. If you guys have uh, designs and ideas, let me know in the comments below. We need to figure out how to make a dinosaur. I'm wondering, what if we try to make a brachiosaur or like a big walker? Let's try to do that. We're gonna delete everything. Delete it all. Oh, look at this. So I'm trying to make a four-legged bipedal giant, right? And then I'm realizing that there's no bone up here to anchor this thing. So we will have to make some sort of a head for this dino that extends out just, just so we can connect the muscles how we want. Now we're going to do the running and we are going to, let's see, do we, how many, what if we up our population? Does that help the simulation? Oh, the skeletal structure folded. I wasn't anticipating that. Nope. Oh wait, we we can't. do I need to have do I need to have muscles in the top? I think I do. Let's add some muscles to keep. Maybe that can help it keep. All right. So the muscle. Look at it. Look at this. Here we go. The muscles are like uh, contracting to keep 
the top skeleton from folding on itself. Ooh. Wait a minute. What's happening with the front two legs? You know what? Hold on a second. If you look at a Brachiosaurus, they angle themselves, right? It's not a straight thing, so it's actually... Let's get the joint. Um, let's start here and work to... I think this is it. Because their, their abdomens, almost all animals have this, right? Where, like, their front legs are longer. Yeah, most creatures, because they get all the spring in their back ones, so these ones need to be longer and more straight, I think. Let's see if that could work. Let's see if that could work. I, I wonder if we make simple legs, if that will work. There we go. That's how I get the two of them, maybe. Wait, I need a joint here. All right, this is it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Is is one of them working? Yeah, this is I think a generation, you know, 10 to 15 we'll see some progress here. We'll see some locomotion. We will see Albrachiosaurus dinosaur was slowly but surely working. Although his front legs are very basic. Yeah, I think he needs little feet. Let's actually go and turn off the grid so I can make some custom joints here as feet. And we'll add the muscle. There we go. Let's evolve it. Oh, see? It's already standing better. It is, yes, much, much better. Actually, wait. I think I want a muscle here. And here. Oh, I can't. I can't do that, can I? Can I do can here to here to? <laughs> the legs are not created equal. Oh, my God. Boo, that, that's starting to get really weird. Can I get rid of that muscle? I added that muscle, and I don't like it. I don't even know about this one. We'll see. No, that's actually kind of keeping it... Maybe. Oh, see what's happening? This front leg isn't connected to the skeletal structure. Dang. This is gonna be tricky to fix. Maybe not. So we add the joint. Then the bone. Then the muscle. Ah. Let's see if that works, because I, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, much more support. Much more support. The back leg is herping the derp out, though. I think that these legs need knees. I think that's what they need. So we're adding the knees, and we're gonna keep the muscles symmetrical and simple. And I'm hoping this does it. I think it's better. It's it's keeping up better. Now we just need the back legs to actually work, and, and these muscles not... I think it's triggering the wrong muscle groups to try to figure out locomotion. Let's see, let's see all of them. <laughs> it just looks like a, a big jumble of like baby spider eggs in like a giant spider web. Ooh, maybe the spider could be the way we get dinosaurs. Oh, oh, oh. We're at generation 10 and you could see that it attempts to walk and then it just falls over. I think... The front legs and that head that just, it, there's a crumbling of the skeletal structure. I'm not sure if muscles would help keep it up. Like, I think muscles, oh, see? Ah, wait, wait, wait. I think, I think that's it. If we have a muscle holding these together, but we need something up here to keep that. Right? And then we add a muscle, a neck muscle? <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? It, it is keeping the head up a little bit. But is it putting too much weight on the body? This is the problem with evolutionary muscles and bones and building creatures, is we literally have no idea what we're doing. We were so caught up with the idea of that we could do it, we never thought to ask ourselves, should we try to make a dinosaur in Evolution Simulator? And I don't know. What should we try to make in the next episode? That's the thing, right? So. Here we go, we're going to delete this. We, we've tried to make a complex dinosaur. All right, another thing is, I think that you gotta, we, we have to look at these, what is this, zoom? Ooh, we've gotta look at our, whoa, dinosaurs. Kind of like the Big Dipper. You, there's a basic, like when you look at the signs in the stars, right, that make up like, oh, there's mermaids and stuff up there, like they're very basic, but you have to extrapolate the bigger picture. And I think that's what we gotta do here. I'm being too complex with my, Skeletal structures and that's what hurting us because look at this. This is a basic design and at generation one It's already achieving forward locomotion, which is better than most of the stuff we've done. So let's Is it possible to make a t-rex? We're gonna we're gonna attempt to do that, right? All right, so t-rex we need to do the joints first 
So he's a big mamma jamma. He's a big guy, right? So we add the bone. And then we need another joint. He run he's got a big old knee, doesn't he? Can we can we give him a big knee? Alright, bone. Boop, boop, boop. And then he's got his little arms. Can I can I have two things stemming from it? Can I do that? Hold on, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to do this. This is key, I think. For the success. Alright, I will get another joint. And I will make another foot. It's gonna be I'm gonna attempt to make it just as long, but a little offside. Or a little offside, a little off a little. Blah, blah, blah. This is my T-Rex dinosaur. Now the muscles. Show us your muscles. Alright. T-Rex attempt number one. <laughs> oh my god! We just made the fastest animal. Imagine a T-Rex doing a barrel roll and, and then screaming at the end. Look at this. Look how look how far they get. Wait, one of the legs isn't isn't wanting to work. We can't coordinate two legs. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> it falls immediately, right? How do we get it to not fall? All right, we've turned back on the bone, uh, the grid for symmetry, and let's see, one, two. We're gonna create a, a triangle, and then I want my. I'm going to build a kneecap. Oh, this is running into the same issue we've run into in the past with the muscle groups. It's gonna have to have a different muscle. See, because it's easy to go boop, but when you, but this is see, it's it's opposite. It will have to synchronize. Whereas the rest of it's the same. Evolve! 50 population per generation, which should help in the evolutionary processes. Duh! Oh, this one's doing good! I, if it's standing, I'm calling it a victory. We'll, uh, we'll achieve locomotion by, what, generation 10? Let's see if I'm right. Alright, we're at generation 9, and we have this issue with falling over. It's not able to keep its balance. And it's, it's like, flails its legs up in the air. So I thought, I was hoping we would get this. Oh, by generation 10. We're at generation 10 right now. It doesn't look like it's working. Guys, I need your help. I need your influence. I need your experience and ideas and creativity as to how to make the best evolutionary dinosaur in Evolution Simulator. Let me know in the comments below. And Lord bless us and save us. We need, we need, we need some help here. We've tried to make a dinosaur in attempt number one, and I don't know if we've really done it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya in the next video.